Hello and welcome to this episode everyone. In this episode we want to talk about power cycle devices. So power cycle devices basically turns off and turns on or restarts all of the devices in your topology. Now if I try to power cycle all of my devices, I come to here, I power cycle the devices and the configurations in the startup configuration will be lost. So for devices that are running on Cisco iOS, if you have entered any commands, for example, for the switch, if you have entered any commands and you have not copied the startup config to the running config, sorry, the running config to the startup config, you need to do that. Uh, you need to copy your running config to the startup config. Otherwise, your configuration will be lost. So here I will come and reset the network. But before that, maybe let's we'll do one thing. Let's inspect this switch, for example, for MAC address table. As you can see, the MAC address table is populated for the time being. But if I power cycle the device, everything will be deleted. You can see that the MAC address table has become empty for the switch because the memory of the switch is cleared by power cycle and by restarting. So uh, the devices are coming up. Let's fast forward. And now if I create a simple ping PDU from PC0 to server 0, now the MAC address table is populated once again. And as I said before, for any iOS device, you need to copy your running config to the startup config before power cycling devices. Power cycling devices is also available in the simulation mode. As you can see here, we have the power cycle devices in here as well. But if you power cycle the devices in simulation mode, all of the events that you're running with this network will be cleared. That's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.